And one other thing that I do if I am sharing a file with uh, a user that has a previous version, for instance, let's save it to a 10.2 file, the, uh, I would normally then add a notation to that name, for instance, 10.2. Exactly. Or I use under that one that then is yeah. saved. Oh, I didn't know you could use the the point there. You you didn't you weren't allowed to use that in the past. Well, I always uh, had to use an underscore there. You're but showing your age, man. Yes. So then, if we <laughs> were to then go to open again or 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 save, that then is an indicator as a difference between the two because sometimes I'll be sending a version 11 file to someone with a 10.2 mm -hmm. and they're unable to open it. That is another question we often get from our users is they say they've got one version and another version and they can't go from one to the other. What we tell them is that these versions are upwardly compatible, not downwardly compatible. So any so version 11 should be able to open any version 11 or earlier TurboCAD drawing, but you won't be able to open a version 11 in 8 and it's just simply because it's a historical uh, progression of the file format. And version 8, at the time of publishing, had no idea what the version 11 format was going to be. You also have the history option when you're opening, and of course you're back to your templates, or you can access drawings from from this drop-down too. So, mm -hmm. on open you have those options. What's under drawings? That would be this listing here. That's the, the drawings folder. Yeah, the drawings. Or if folder. you want to save it as a template. So we have default zero one, default zero yeah. two. Hit that setup button right now, Jack. Uh, sorry, because uh, that's also another important part of this. And so cancel out of that, and now change the file format. Uh, this is and change it to DWG, for example, which is a common file format and now click setup and you can see there's different settings for different types of files and often you this is not only in the open dialog but also in the save as dialog you can go and choose what different format that control okay, is going okay, haywire yeah. okay um, now i've taken over now okay <laughs> um, all right so i'll go to save as and i'll change this to dwg which is an AutoCAD format, but I recommend you don't use this for your own TurboCAD drawings. Uh, you should stick with a TCW if you're keeping it internal, but if you're taking it external to somebody with AutoCAD, then you can choose that, and then you click Setup, and you can see the different AutoCAD settings here that you can choose, AutoCAD 2000 or R14. And that's important for the people that you're giving the drawing to because they can also only open a certain version in AutoCAD. So mm -hmm. that's not a, a problem specific to TurboCAD only. Um, I have a question, Rob. Um, in training people, the thing that I always tell them when working with DWG files or DXF or any other format, particularly when they uh, receive a file and they want to work on it, um, my philosophy is always to get them to use TurboCAD's native format. In other words, you receive the file via email, save it, open it in TurboCAD, and then immediately save it as a uh, TurboCAD drawing. Is, is that something that you're... Yeah, I like that. You, there's certain things in TurboCAD that, uh, you know, just cannot be saved in native TurboCAD that cannot be saved in other formats. Uh, you know, like uh, certain material settings are not common in AutoCAD. So when you save as a DWG file, chances are you're going to lose all your materials, right? And if it's not an AutoCAD drawing, then it's a JPEG. So if you save as a JPEG, it'll save in, a, in that format, but you'll lose a certain amount of information. Mm -hmm. So the only one that you can be guaranteed about not losing information is the TCW format. Right. So the moral of the story is to receive the file, open it up. You always want to have a backup of your original that you received, so immediately bring that into TurboCAD and save it as a TurboCAD drawing. Do your work in TurboCAD, and then when you're 
finalized your work in TurboCAD, you save it again as a file format in the case of you needing to deliver that back to somebody in DWG yeah, format. Yeah, and, and, then, and then you can choose which format you want to deliver, be it DWG or PDF or whatever, and, it's, and it typically depends on what the needs of the person you're sending it to ha has. Um, so that's always what's going to be critical at the end of the day, is to find out what they're using and to give them a format that's appropriate.